the the biggest illusion is things appearing new right because we know it's a process for things to renew themselves and it takes a certain amount of time if you rush the process you could potentially damage the material or the being or whatever that is you uh dealing with so what we looking at here is us traveling the whole plane because these plates begin in embryo genesis and this explains and you can go look these words up that you about to hear me say and the words on the screen the floor the basal plate we know basal is is a type of leaf type of uh, 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 herb and to not correlate that with our well-being with our bodies our mind our just our function period because what in school how they introduce that our our diet on how we eat our uh what was that that damn pyramid the poison pyramid matter of fact how we got meat at the top and then the dairy and then you know what that's gonna do it's gonna clog your tube it's gonna clog your tubes and then with clogging tubes how can you breathe or if you calcifying your tubes your vessels again how can you breathe because we breathers okay so the basal plate is basically the neural tube So listen to me. Listen to this. This is the basal plate, aka neural tube. In the nervous system, the basal plate is the region of the neural tube ventral to the sulcus limitans. It extends from the rostral mesencephalon, middle brain to the end of the spinal cord which is that tube and contains primarily motor neurons and the alar plate another part of the brain primarily connected with sensory functions cell types of basal plate include lower motor neurons four types of interneurons left and right sides of the basal plate are continuous during neurulation they separate by the floor plate this process is directed by the natal cord different neurons in the basal plate are influenced by the sonic hedgehog protein energy remember how fast sonic was energy speed of light two man they talk to us in code so that's why i'm doing this what i say different neurons in the basal plate are influenced by the sonic hedgehog protein released by ventralizing structures such as the natal cord and floor plate 
ventralizing, breathing, floors, air floors, arrows, now that was the basal plate, the basal plate would be the tree, the basal plate would be the wick of the candle, the basal plate would be the tree of that the Norse cosmology up there the basil tree would be those green the green parts of the explosion in, in, the, in that mitosis my, meiosis uh, picture in the right corner now I'm explain the bottom right picture because that's the basal plate and the floor plate and that's like piston driven and I'm going to get into the piston here in a second after the floor after I explain to y'all what the floor plate is because the basal plate would be like the tube when we when we conceived right boom we go into we, we swim into the egg we swim into the egg for two that's the race we coming from Asgard I'm using the Norse mythology picture right here look think about it think about it like what i'm telling you we coming from asgard we drop down to the bifrost which is the core which is the coolest hottest place at the same like where it's colloidal like where is a uh, suspension happens how the stars suspended in that in that space the colloidal space that neutral space you come to the bifrost that's the arch in the arch is a hole is a black hole that we are attracted to that we fall through comment come on with the comments so these plates And then it it plate spelt uh before I go to that floor. The floor is giving you the rule of the physical. You see the oxaloid in the left upper corner. It's called an oxaloid. This is the anatomy of the eye before when it's forming. To meet the red in the body. Well, when it's not forming to meet it, they always together. But they they don't know of each other until they come into the physical to see, sense, be with each other. The floor is making the rules of the physical. There's no way a being is coming into fruition not on a plate. Or traveling through this neural tube. Because in the basal plate, the the neural the in, in the basal plate, the the neural tube 
is this this function going on while we traveling at the speed of light it's called the piston effect and what the piston effect is 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 when it's so much wind okay how they describe that the piston effect is what I'm about to uh, describe our ancestors used to say if you got close to the when you travel to the North Pole and you get close you getting close to the North Pole and this is the same reason why you cannot transition through galaxies or whatever they want to make it seem like they doing with space you're going to have to get shredded when when you uh you you near this north pole you can get what bro say spaghettified you can get shredded you can get you you get you going to die and the ancestors revered the north pole because this is what's recycling all of the energies to be brought to the the heart again the earth you got you got quadrillions you got quadrillions of people traveling here on the plane physically but what we think is physical and in other dimensions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dimensions. I mean, from from no dimension to the ninth dimension. So you got all these beings. Tra so think about that traffic in a hallway of in school. It's gonna be jam packed unless we get a flow going. You know what I mean? We get like a, t uh, you know what I mean. Everybody aware, not bumping into each other. That's what it's like traveling down that, that this basal plate, this neural tube, this neural tube. Now, because look at the the hylozone with the H and then the retina with the R and then the piston at the bottom this this picture in the middle those three hmm those three what they always talk about in the in the in the religions the three the three that make up the rest the three that make up the infinite sun, moon, Polaris, black hole, weaver, the grand builder went from a builder to an architect to a, a weaver to a creator. All the same thing. We trying to come up with these names, but yeah. but threw me off. Them three, them two look like a top hat, don't it? The H and R like a top hat. Piston will be a slit. Mm. All right, let's read on the floor plate. Because y'all going to get it. We're going to quit acting stupid. It's because it's just an act. I can't be on act. So, the floor plate, beginning in embryogenesis, both of them, see, netter, netrins, netter is one who guides, right, so let's read, netrins are proteins expressed by cells on the floor plate, experiments using floor plate extracts and commissural neurons 
embedded in a collagen matrix. That's where we at. But embedded in a collagen matrix shows attraction of neurons towards the floor plate in vitro. Netrons guide cords and axons toward grounding or the floor plate. Towards grounding or the floor plate axon receptor. DCC in a chemotactic manner. So when the baby. So the baby lands on this plate with the guidance of the net of the energy. These nets of energy are guiding beings to the floor plate, to the rule, to the physical ruling place. And the only way we can proceed is if we keep going through natural function. We can keep going higher and higher because the the chemotactic manner will be the pH balance of the body the pH and the nutrition and, uh, factors of the body feeding that baby too and this is explaining our whole existence like if you don't get this, it's like you don't want to because you feel it's things greater than this info that's being presented when info is all we have. Ideas is all we have. Thought is all we have. That's where things stem from. A seed. But when the seed, but before the seed, is 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 compacting and retaining this energy inside of it through the circuits of the energy building a sheath over a a, a cover over the energy that, sh that show you how how in intelligent this thing can the, our energies can see before we have the eyes to see and this is what really I'm I'm about to get y'all to see so this hylozone this retina and this piston right because of um The sheath would it is like the chakras. The sheath would be a main chakra though. The hylozone with the features of the sheath, I mean, would be the crown crown chakra and that's what we suspended by our bodies is mocking the whole existence and we don't even notice it because of indoctrination but The anther of a of a of a flower would be the middle part of that mushroom, right? That's an anther. An anther. A N T H E R. Anther spelled backwards is retina. Is retina. Because the anther is transporting the seeds. The 
this eye shaped like the tree like the wick on the candle like the middle part of that uh, mushroom down there like the vortex focus of that picture in the corner because the code here is zero one get it zero one it's not ten ten is the net that holds one through eight you get it the masculine and the feminine are holding all of these attributes the pole star is giving attributes to masculine and feminine then having masculine and feminine giving attributes to everything else through creation through plasma through the fifth state of action so Part of a flower called an anther, spelled backwards, is a retina because it sees where it's sending you at. You, you, by sensation, you sensing to go the right way. You sensing to be at the right place at the right time, or the 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 ideal place at the ideal time. Because the little, the little energies that's being recycled, the little energies being recycled are called uh, nematodes, nemots, and that's a stamen. What is a stamen? Stamen is a part of a flower that's, that has that, the glue, the, the plasma, pla plastic, the part the pollens hang on, right? All right. Stamen typically consists of a stalk called the filament and an anther, a physical eye, a stalk called the filament and an anther, which contains microsporangia, <laughs> a physical eye, which with black holes, microsporangia, spores. We we porous. This is where poor comes into play. Rich, poor, porous. When you rich, you in a state no one can tell. Um no one's always agreeing with you, no one's trying to in this state people can tell you you happy. When you rich, when you porous, you open, vulnerable. And it don't necessarily mean that. But the stomach, right, means thread. The nematodes, the nematodes, when you get in that disease and all of this stuff, they affecting the, 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 beginning worms in your your body they don't tell you that but i will okay so i'm talking about that
because these for that mushroom to come into play went through these these floral stages i'm talking about floral floral see because with this when you when you uh mixing up all of the information and they presenting how they presenting it man it turns you into a like a beast an animal and when we ram in this place, the ram, because you know the Baphomet is a ram, the ram is missing the a, missing the L. The ram is missing the E and the L for the ram. You ramming, tripping beach don't run a ram. Beings run the realm. This is a realm we in. Why you think we got all these compartments, man? Because it, in different realms you learning, or in different classes you learning different subjects, different parts of the subject of life, of light. Like, look at the candle with the wick spread out. The four basically like in the daytime when the sky is blue the four corners are expanding this flame to for the for the final physical stage would be creating beings and we be under the flame maneuvering when we got seven six or seven flaming bodies flaming centers in the human body called chakras that are separated by the sheaths separated by the sheaths man or the realms you can't do you can't avoid these plates only thing you can do is deny them like the whole masses of people who's getting educated you know what i'm saying by this this system these system of frauds man because the flower when we looking up at night it's like we looking at the, the seeds that gave creation to the the beings every type of being you can think of now it's a particular order that these beings come in but they can mess up the order and get a being that we, we like what the hell is that what is that yeah that can happen and with what's going on like when these uh all right man stop. i'm gonna get out that I got too much for y'all, but these places given this focus in the in the in the in the in the bottom right corner, them are stages of focus. Do you y'all remember on Madden when if your player was Dookie, like he would have like the B, he would have like the D quarterback vision if you had a quarterback and you was maneuvering. He had like the D quarterback vision, but if you was playing with Peyton Manning or somebody, he had the A quarterback vision, and he'd get it there accurately. Opposed to D, man, you got one. You see him wide open, and you'll throw it to him, and it'll be off. You'll throw it too far ahead, too far back, and you like, man. So you got to practice and get your focus, really get your focus in tune to where it's elevating you. And elevating people around you, beings around you, because that's what's really making your deeds for the future. And two, y'all, with these numbers, zero to nine is all it is. Zero to nine, not ten. I told you ten is the net 